boy. Look at that beautiful, absolutely marvelous. Hey guys, Muppet Sub here. Uh, here's part two of my Muppet collection. The last time I didn't get to show you that I have uh, lights to put in my showcase. So, uh, enjoy the second part. I wish I knew exactly what so I this mean. is the third shelf of my showcase. Like I have a um, well here in the little corner. I have a little corner, rubber head, and uh, you know cloth body. It, I don't have it, but it's supposed to have a little shirt from up in space. I think it was like a McDonald's toy or something. It's a little keychain. You see, um, keychain. And then here, this I find really cool. Uh, it's a Kermit it phone, and it actually relevant. works. I mean, it's not plugged in right now, so it doesn't work. But th this one's a rotary. I have another, let me show you. Or maybe a kind of um, a I got this, a shade of blue. just, um, or maybe a this one here, flower. I've had for a long time. Pretty much in the same condition it was. This one is uh, actually a push button, so if you wanted to make it a lot easier on yourself to use that one. But um, I also have this one I got for around like $20, but it was in horrible condition. Like the eyes, see them? The eyes were not like that. The eyes were all messed up, all dusty. Uh, but what I did was, I myself, I fixed it. I was going through it, I was screwdriver and everything. And I closed it, and they made it look really nice. So I put this little picture in of Kermit not talking on the phone in the middle of the rotary. So I think that added a nice touch to it. And here, so that's, this is Muppet. I just, ever since I was a kid, I loved Barney. So I've had these all my life, so I just wanted to put those in there. I like them. Uh, these are pretty interesting. I only have three of them, they make a lot more. It's um, from Fisher Price. They had a Muppet line of a lot of different Muppet stuff. That was the um, stick figures from one shelf above. So this one is Screw to the Gopher. You can tell, it has a little Muppet right there. This one's Fozzie. I mean, I like, I like the Fozzie. I mean, the way they made him was not that great. Because, um, you can't tell, but they made his butt really big, so it's hard to keep him in the showcase. Because, as you can tell, he's looking straight up, so you can't really see him that well. This one, of course, is Kermit the Frog. Uh, I like this one a lot. I put a little, uh, I had another one of these little plastic Kermit stick figures, so I put them in there. Here is a little creepy Miss Piggy. Her hair is all messed up, but this is also from the Fisher Price line. I wanted to put that in there. This is pretty interesting. I like this. Um, it's a tin with the Muppets on it. They're like cheering for like some game or something. There's Miss Piggy and everybody. <laughs> Look, Miss Piggy. Oh, well, um, she has a little pin and it says, I'm number one. So, on the side it says, um, give me, give moi an M, give moi a U, and they just keep going, it spells Muppets. It's pretty cool. Uh, next, here's a little Sesame Street section. I have a, I think it's a Weeble Wobble, or whatever those things called that never fall down or anything. No matter, how much it'll, no matter how much you tilt it, it won't fall down. Here I have an Ernie and Bert. It's a pair of um, the little puppets you saw in uh, Muppet Sub's theme. I use them, but you know, they're very rare, vintage, so you know, I didn't want to use them for all my videos. This is a little Ernie that came in the Kellogg's box from a long time ago. I actually didn't find it in the box. Uh, my friend from, from uh, where I used to live, he gave it to me a long time ago. And uh, over here I also have an Oscar from that. Uh, he's, he's in the bag still though. So, uh, so that's the Ernie and Bert. And that's the Ernie. These three are, um, th th they made some more. These are little plastic finger puppets. They're very vintage of uh, Big Bird, Cookie, and Oscar. Kind of an and uh, here I have a count. The count is, uh, let me get that glare out of the way. The count is, uh, I think the count is very cool. This is also a very nice puppet. Uh, as you can, I don't know if you can tell, the eye, that eye right here, the, um, the one without the monocle, that wasn't there. I had to copy the other eye, what it looked like, and I had to make my own. See? Can you tell? 
You can't do it. Don't want to, I don't want to tell. Uh, here's a little Elmo. Pez. I like that one. Pretty cool. And then, uh, Bird. Here's an Oscar bank. Just so, you know, here's the sign go away. And in the back, let me show you. I have a radio with Ernie in the bathtub. I even have the box. I make the radio. The only thing is it doesn't have the little rubber ducky. See the little rubber ducky? He doesn't have it, but uh, and it doesn't work, but I mean it's still a pretty cool piece to have. So, this is probably very uh, rare. I don't think there's that many in existence, probably none of them. And um, I don't know if you ever heard of the Chiller Theater Show in New Jersey. I think it's New Jersey, yeah. I went, and there was this lady who made um, clay figures. And she had one of Big Bird, and Carol Spinney, the voice and body of Big Bird and Oscar, was there. So, I bought the figure, and then I went to Carol Spinney, and I asked him to sign it. So we put it, Big Bird right there, and he put Spinney on the other foot. So, I think that's uh, one of my best pieces I have, though it's so little. I just, I don't know, I, I fell in love with that little Big Bird, and I knew Carol was there. This I did not get at all. Um, they, I went to the Museum of the Moving Image because they had a Muppet exhibit. They had all, they had puppets, they had uh, the old Kermit. They had uh -uh. Miss Piggy, they had uh, Ralph the Dog, and Daniel Bird. So in the gift shop, they had a lot of Muppet stuff. They had a black and white Big Bird. I, I don't know why they would make that. I mean, Big Bird Yellow, as you can see. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool because, I mean, where have you seen a black and white Big Bird? So. And then here, this is not collectible. This is just a little iron on uh, stitch of Sherlock from Hermlock, I think it is. Yeah. So, on this shelf, the next one, we start off, we have some Muppet Pez. This is the Kermit from the new, the new Kermit from the Muppets, the new movie in 2011. So, they made Pez, so I have that one in the bag still. Weird saying in the bag, usually you say in the box. Here I have a Kermit. You would think it would go with the Miss Piggy. Because they made a Kermit almost like this, that one was Piggy. But this one's newer because the old one had a little bow tie. So the Kermit does not have a bow tie. But um, it's still pretty cool. And then this is a vintage Miss Piggy. Um, that one's pretty cool. This here is a Kermit the Frog cell phone holder. I think it was my mom. But, uh, not mine, so. <laughs> in the back here I have a Palisades. I have a lot of other Palisades, but there's not enough room in my showcase for all of them. Here I have, still in the box, is Jim Henson, the Palisade, if you don't know what Palisades are, they were a company that they ran, I think, until like 2005, and they went out of business, but um, they, made, they made really nice toy figures, so... This was a Jim Henson special edition they had from Palisades. That's the best logo. And it's Jim Henson. It ha he has a banjo. Kermit, like my little bobblehead Kermit here I got from Disney World in 2007. Uh, he has a fake little magazine, Muppet magazine, tambourine, and a little chair. So, I find that piece pretty cool. It has a few pictures on it of Jim Henson and uh, about the Jim Henson legacy. You can go to uh, visit the Jim Henson Legacy.org site. I, I, uh, I did. It's pretty cool. You should do it. Um, here, I. Uh, Vinylmation from Disney, they made a few different Muppet sets of, uh, they take the, um, regular, uh, Mickey ears and Mickey body, if you can tell there's a little outline of Mickey, and they put any face, you, any, uh, face, pretty much, they did a few on the Muppets, they have, uh, all, uh, most of the Disney movies, they made one, uh, I don't know which ones they didn't. But, uh, yeah, they have a few Muppets. I got Janice. It's, it's totally random. You get, you pick one, and they just, uh, they don't tell you what it is until you open it. This, uh, is my Kermit the Frog Indiana Jones set. Um, I mean, also from Palisades, as you saw in, um, my, my stop animation video, Indiana Kermit and the Raider of the Lost Gonzo. That guy right there. Maybe a pretty flower. 
So, um, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. I wish I kept him in the box. It would make him more rare. But, uh, it's pretty cool. I liked how I used him in the video. It came out pretty good. If you didn't see it, you should check it out. Indiana Kermit and the Raiders of the Lost Battle. And, um, here's a... Kermit and Miss Piggy and the whole Muppet gang and the snow globe I got also from Disney World in 2007. I like the little bottle we had here. Um, I have a vintage Miss Piggy, just a, you know, a little regular figure. And here, if you ever heard of Crocs, they also, um, they had a few different Muppet, Muppet, I don't know what you call them, uh, jewels, not jewels, gems or, you know, whatever. They're, um, I have, here, let me show you, Bunsen, Animal, Kermit, uh, Beaker, Gonzo, so Swedish Chef, and Fozzie. That's a bracelet you can wear. As you can tell, they have, it's made out of rubber, and they have the plastic holes, so you can fit all the Muppets in them. Or any other one you want. And here, from Toner, uh, they, made, he, they made a Miss Piggy, and then recently they made a Kermit, so I have the Kermit. I have him sitting down right next to the Jim Henson, so it kind of works. And uh, finally on the shelf, well actually no, not finally, in the back, we have, um, if you've ever seen them, they're dress-up Muppets, Very, also vintage from Fisher Price. They made um, dress-up Muppets of Gonzo, Kermit, and Piggy, and this is a suit for Gonzo. I don't know if it'll fit Kermit too, but... If you can see in that picture of Gonzo, that's what he's wearing, the pirate suit. So, I have that. And here from Cor Corgi, yeah, Corgi, they made um, some Muppet Show, very vintage um, cars. They have I, don't, I only have Kermit and uh, Fozzie Bear. The Kermit's in the box still. And then down here I have two Fozzies. So I find those pretty cool. They made other ones, but I just have that one. Here's another one of those uh, Muppet magnets that um, I have. It's not, um, it doesn't have the little figures with it, but it's still the regular piece, so I find it pretty cool. Here is the piece to resistance. Sorry, I'll try to be more funny next time. Uh, there's, these are vintage, I think these are the third, yeah, the third one, lunch boxes that have the Muppets on, the third one's ever made, in 1979. They made three different types, uh, the fronts were actually always the same, they always looked like that, and on the back they had three different ones, they had Fozzie Bear, they had Animal, and then that one right there is Kermit. You can't see it because it's turned the other way. But those are the only three they made, and I have them all. And Animal and Fozzy both have one of these. These are the canisters, um, thermos. Not yeah, thermos, not a canister. And um, they're pretty cool. I mean, you have Kermit eating a sandwich. What's better than that? Yeah, so you can see Henson Associates Inc. 1979. So they're pretty vintage. Uh, here, let me show you. On the front of this one, there's a sticker. New flip and sip top inside. Those are when the, the these thermoses first came out. They have a, you flip the top of them and you can just sip it. So the name kind of implies. So.